All right, I need more Geo. I gotta go get as much as I can. I'm a poor boy, and I need to get me some, uh, I need to get me some extra abilities. I don't know. Okay, so what do we do? Where were we going? Where are we? What's the, there we go. That's where we pull up the full map. So we've got a little bit left in the Forgotten Crossroads. That might actually, yeah, let's, let's do a little bit of backtracking. Um, yeah, I don't think I can go into the top left area, and I don't remember if there's, yeah, there's like a couple of areas that I might be able to get into. I think Queen Station also might have a thing that I could check out too. But let's just pop down for, let's just pop down first, do what's left in, oh, hello. Pale thing, you wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard of an arena that exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there, and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Caseto Gueno. Hollow Nest. What a, what challengers await in its ruin? Okay. Uh, so let's just let's just meander for a little while. Uh, let's see. Did I know that the devs of Heroes of Hammerwatch want want to release a DLC. Seems odd since it's in early access. I I always have like the most um I always have the most like mixed feelings on that sort of thing. Turn down the audio a little bit. It was this might be a little loud. I'm not entirely sure. I always have mixed feelings on DLC in general. I feel like DLC is fine as long as it's respectful to the uh as as long as it's respectful to the game itself and doesn't do too much cosmetic dlc i'll live with i part of it is like funding for games is really tough so you can have uh you can have a lot of game developers that straight up just are never gonna have enough money for uh You're you're always gonna have these developers that uh, straight up just can't get enough money for their projects, uh, and I always feel kind of bad for them because like there's some pretty great games out there. Can I just farm this guy, or does he respawn when I hit the bench? Okay, he respawns when I hit the bench. Um, but so like, what's a good example of good DLC? during early access or whatever and bad DLC. I mean, truly, I hate DLC. I guess that's that's the easy answer here. I'm not a big fan of DLC. I don't really like, uh... I don't really like developers nickel and diming uh, their audience for content that arguably should have just been in the game to begin with. Uh, that said, I do understand that, like, yeah, you have to pay for the game somehow. And I would rather have stuff like DLC I'd rather have something like DLC than a game being half finished. Uh, it's a good example. There was a uh, there was a roguelike I played a while back called uh, Cavern Kings. Wonderful roguelike, but the developers ran out of money, um, and I feel like DLC for that might have been valid, if only so that the game could have continued, or or something. I. <sighs> I don't know, it's a, it's a toughie, because, like, on one hand, like, it's a failure on their part to market, but I, like, I wouldn't have complained if they're like, by the way, like, we're gonna have to start, uh, we're, we're gonna have a couple of, like, things here for, like, a couple extra dollars just so we can continue to develop this game. Like, I would have understood that. I would have been happy, but I would have been like, yeah, okay, I get that. And then there's other games like, yeah, Train Sim. Where just the whole game is just a, a vehicle to sell more DLC. And now, there are notable exceptions. Like, uh... I guess, easiest example I can think of of a game that is effectively a vehicle for, uh... A vehicle for an endless amount of DLC without it being terribly scummy? I would say easy example is... is Stellaris. Or really any Paradox game. I think is a great, 
Uh, I think any Paradox game is a, a great example of DLC, maybe not done well, but not super scummy. Like, part of the reason why I will probably never play any of the uh, pre-existing... Let's see, I can't get through that section. I won't play through most of the pre-existing Paradox content just because there's too much. And admittedly, it might be one of those where I could actually send an email to my press contact and be like, Yo, can I, like, just have CK2 for a little while and just, uh, like, can I just have everything and do a series on it? Unfortunately, a lot of, uh, oh. Oh, we can go up here. Oh. I didn't realize. Oh, but we need the, uh, Grand Slam from Cloth? I want to say it's Cloth that teaches it to us. Before we can come back here. Gotcha. Oh, that's an easy answer. Uh, what's in here? Oh, just a uh, just a soul shrine, nothing more. Um, but like those games, their DLC comes out occasionally, and they're not terribly expensive. Yeah, Grand Slam requires a boss. Yeah, I. It's been two years, and this is a long game, so I kind of forget a lot of this stuff, unfortunately. I kind of know my way around, but uh, I'm going to be remembering most of it as I go. Oh, right, and this was hella dark, so it isn't worth my time. Okay, so in that case... Oh, Salubra. That's that's an easy answer for something to do. Because I don't want to I don't want to start immediately. I know people are still filling in, and I want to get as much um, Geo as I possibly can. So there's that, too. Uh, but yeah, so I think Paradox's DLC is okay. I I would probably say uh, Hollow Knight. They started with a bunch of free DLC as kind of things that they, they had as Kickstarter backer rewards. And I think those... I think those were lovely. I mean, that was more than enough. I almost never hear of developers just putting out free, free DLC content updates as such, unless the title is early access and Hollow Knight is anything but. Like, I might not have been terribly happy to buy Grim Troop since I couldn't beat it, but I would have bought it gladly because it was worth it. Uh, and then obviously I'm going to get my money's worth in this run just because. Um, let's see. Are you planning on doing the DLCs for the game? Because I'm not sure if you can complete any of them if you didn't save Zote. Oh, that's a question. Can somebody look that up for me? Uh, because if I have to go save Zote, then I'll go save Zote. That'd suck. I'd hate to soft lock myself like that. Okay. Yeah, we can get to Salubra. Oh, you surprised me. Hello, hello. Come in, sweetling. Come in and make yourself at home. I'm Salubra, and this is my cozy little charm store. Did the townsfolk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mm, yes. This is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. Hmm. What were we talking about? Oh, yes, charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own, and you can take one home with you. If you like. <laughs> okay, so we can get the lifeblood heart, which is kind of helpful. Long nail is amazing. Ah, uh, I'm probably gonna buy long nail now that I'm lo looking at it. And she's also got the extremely expensive rest of these. Yeah, quick focus is good. Shaman stone also pretty good. Especially if I want to do the caster thing. Long nail is just kind of handy. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just grab this. Blah. Do you wear a lot of charms at once? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Mixing and matching them to get the per perfect combination. I don't know whether you've noticed, but some charms seem to like each other. Yes, mm, when charms like each other, they shine even brighter and sing even more sweetly. Even more reason to try all sorts of fun and surprising combinations of charms. Mm, you'll show me. Whenever you have a new favorite, right? Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> let's see. So what else do we have? Yeah, what mods did I pick out? Mainly just bonfire. Uh, bonfire quality of life stuff. I don't remember any other ones. I showed the list off at the beginning yesterday. My first episode goes up on YouTube in about an hour and a half. So if you want to double check what mods I've got installed. Uh, I've got it there in the top left of the video, just on the main screen. I'll have to see more... Uh, if there are any more. I considered Lightbringer or the Shadow Dash one. But I didn't want to... I didn't want to mess with them because they changed the gameplay too much. And I kind of wanted to play this vanilla. Lightbringer sounds like it might be too powerful. Might be something that I turn on towards the end and we just see what Lightbringer looks like it does. But yeah, if you've got any suggestions for low impact uh, mods, I am all ears. I tried Red Wings, and it was interesting, but it wasn't, um, it was a bit too much too early. Okay, apparently it doesn't matter if you save Zote. Sorry for worrying you. Okay, that's good. Because I was kind of hoping not to save Zote for, uh... Honestly, no good reason. I just didn't want to save Zote this time around, because I saved Zote last time and... Ow. I don't know. He can save himself. And I'm curious if anything changes? I also just don't like Zote. Or people like Zote. Too, too egotistical. Not nearly kind enough. Give me cloth. Now, if it was cloth that I could save, I would. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. So, from what I see, there's a DLC boss, uh, Zote boss, that you can't do without rescuing him. I... Uh, do we... I mean, what do you guys think? Should I go... Should I go rescue Zote, or do we just leave him there and not fight the, uh, the update? Or not the update boss? Because effectively, you, you can fight like a bonus super... Super Zote somewhere. And I know the DLC Zote is super hard. I beat him... I beat him in the first two or three states, and then realized that he was just gonna get harder and harder forever. And I was like, eh... Kinda lost interest. Okay, and thank you, uh, everybody for the bits. PJ Rockpy and, uh... And Verisoc. Okay, uh... Do -do 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 -do. I'm mildly distractible today. I'm coming off of one hell of a migraine yesterday. And I'm feeling better, but anytime, any, anytime there's an interruption of any variety, I'm just going to be like... Okay, I can't get through here. Anytime there's an interruption, it's just going to completely destroy my brain. So I might have to... Uh, fix some amount of stream interaction, because yeah, I can't even keep like a exact train of thought to some degree, and that's unfortunate. Let's see, so does anybody know what... Uh... Whoop, that was weird. Does anybody know what Wander's favorite game is? Uh, you... I think you're looking at it. Actually. Dang. I need the, uh... I need the long nail for this, maybe. This is gonna be kinda tough. Yeah. Or, I... Maybe I just can't get close. Hmm. I'm gonna go stab some things for a second, then we'll come back. Otherwise, I'm just going to hurt myself. Or die. I don't want to do those. But yeah, as far as favorite games go, Hollow Knight might straight up be my favorite game of all time so far. I've got some other games that I'm particularly fond of, but I think Hollow Knight consistently is probably one of my favorites. The level design is amazing. The art design, the music. The, the dev team. Oh, I'm trying to think of other games that, that come close. There's a couple. I really liked Chroma Squad, but I think that's more just because Chroma Squ Squad was goofy nonsense more than anything else. If 
if you remember right, there's an upper section here, but I don't think I can get to it. Oh, but we can go hang out with the uh, with Grandpa Grubberfly. I bet we we've got an amount of geo that he'll just throw at us. Hello. Oh. Extra mask and a lot of geo, which doesn't count for the total. Oh, you know what? That's something I should probably mention. Let's let's throw this on display capture. Uh, that's my email. Let's not look at that. Okay, so uh, courtesy of uh, Gav, one of my mods, there's actually a bonfire mod stat sheet that you can look at. Now, it it's not exactly uh, complete to some degree. I'm not entirely sure if the enemies keep scaling past level 50. Uh, but see, so you can see enemy HP at start after one Dreamer, two Dreamer, three Dreamer. Uh, so they scale up. So eventually they're going to have 520% more HP than usual. And we can also look at this. So I don't entirely know what Delta old damage is versus old nail damage. I, I see Delta on a number of these. Maybe that's the... Oh, it's the change. Yeah, that, ma that makes sense. Let's see. So you can actually see how much damage uh, these things do. So at 4, old nail damage is 8, 11, 14, 17. So if we get up to a... Okay, damage increase per level. It looks like it's mostly even. There's a couple of uneven points here, and I'm not entirely sure why. But yeah, so we could go uh, all the way up to about 46 damage or more. It might scale past 50. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Attack speed. So 2.6 times. And yeah, you might be able to go faster. It probably... Yeah, really heavy diminishing returns. Does increase the crit damage uh, considerably. Those first couple upgrades seem like they were the most important for, for crit damage. And then after that, eh. Int. So focus cost can go all the way down to 20. It says 34 here, and I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate. Okay, so enemy HP does continue to increase. Cool. Well, honestly, it won't matter once we hit level 50. Uh, let's see. So what else are these? Abyss Shriek. Oh, so these, these are just damage numbers. Yeah, so we could do a fair amount of damage if we went not all in int, and we'd probably be able to fire a lot more. Any more... Masks. Okay, so extra masks caps out maybe at 10? And it looks like the average number of hits resisted. We only really want to put one point into resilience for a while, and then after that, really heavy diminishing returns. Wisdom. Uh, wisdom, we want to get our, our whiz up to about 3. Or not 3, 25. After that, I'm not actually sure if we get much more soul regen than that. We probably do, but I don't think I need more than that. Max level 50? No, no, it goes higher than 50. It's just this this uh, this spreadsheet only goes up to 50. Luck, on the other hand, caps out crit-wise somewhere around 44. Maybe there's heavy diminishing returns. I'd probably get it up to about 20. Uh, but the drop geo just keeps scaling indefinitely. So it's not bad. I don't know. Actually, I might as well talk about this. Uh, so, yeah, will I be touching the DLC as part of this series? I really hope so. Uh, I sincerely would like to 112% this game on the second second run. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the main problem is just, like, there is still the, like, level of... I don't... My reflexes aren't great without hurting myself. Uh, I've got crap hands. And they work very, very hard to make me regret existence. Uh, sometimes, all the time. And so it's... Eh. It's one of those where, like, I might be able to actually keep up with uh, some of the really harder things. And, for example, like, even if we did rescue Zote, I very, very highly doubt I would actually bother with the, uh, with maximum Zote. Because Maximum Zote, I think, would just be too much for me, no matter what.
Uh, especially because I think he just starts one-shotting you after a certain point. And, like, that's pretty tough. I might be able to learn it, but, like, he gets a lot faster. And I think just kills you in one go. And, like, that's that's not as attractive of a prospect to me. Oh, right. I forgot there's... There's that shrine right there. All right, well, let's give this a go. See, I'm thinking of picking up this game. Uh, is this worth the 11 euros on Steam? Absolutely. Whoops. Damn it. I might want to set up properly for this one. Okay. Got it. I'm not actually sure what's over here. Nothing here. Be nice if there was a shortcut to get out of here. Now... Oh. Okay, so there's a destroy thing to get down. Damn it. Okay. Oh. We're good. Alright. Now, this might be the direction to... Yeah, there's the dude. Can I open up a shortcut here? Or, no, that's that's the boss section. So I'm going to give it a go. This guy sucks, from what I remember. He was hard. Okay, so this is the shortcut. That's the shortcut. Alright, we want to get these back. Uh, but yeah, just to finish my thought about whether or not this game is worth it, sorry. Focus-intensive things like platforming can be a bit tough. Um, I, I straight up think I have, like... I think I straight up have 40 hours in this game. And... I... Regret none of that. I, except for maybe the White Palace. White Palace was, um... Uh, brutal. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. This guy killed me the first time I ran into him. He also bugged out the first time I ran into him, but... Ow. I just dashed right into him. Okay. gonna heal. Okay. I think I've got him. I might be a little quiet. Brooding Molek sucks. I am definitely hitboxing some of these. Oh, I forgot how aggressive he gets. Well, I'm just gonna guts him at this point. There we go. Well, that was actually not so bad. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Is that another mask fragment? Heck yeah, it is. Let's see, would I say that this game is on the same production quality and overall quality as Ori in the Blind Forest? I... This might be a bit controversial. Just because, but I would absolutely say, uh, I would absolutely say this is better, but that is entirely my, my, in, that's, that's entirely my subjective opinion, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, uh, that that's like, I don't know. If somebody argued back with me, I, I wouldn't disagree with them. It's just, I think, a matter of, like, what do you like more? Because I think Ori and the Blind Forest had a higher production value, but it was also made by a larger studio, supported entirely by Microsoft. Whereas Hollow Knight was a new studio, from what I remember. I don't think Ch Team Cherry's ever made a game before this. I'm sure they've all individually made games before, uh, but it was entirely backed by, like, Kickstarter and stuff. They're both amazing games, 
and I like both quite a lot. I think Ori and the Blind Forest disappointed me a little bit just because of the lack of boss fights. And the exploration, well, nice. Um, how would I describe it? Oops, the wrong way. Uh, I liked exploring and in the Blind Forest, but ultimately it was just for, like, small little leveling bits. Uh, not a lot of... Oh, how would I even describe it? I'm tempted to get the bench pin. I don't care about the cocoon pin, vendor pin, stagway pin. I just kind of know where they are. And a bunch of markers. Let's leave those for a bit. I will say that uh, this is by far the harder game. Like, Hollow Knight is not going to be an easy game if you're expecting to just go into it. Well, let's put one into Resilience. Uh, that 22% hit resistance and the extra mask should be kind of nice. Though... Huh. I'm not actually sure... Does it show up on room load? No, I'm not actually sure. Let's see, rancid egg. Yeah, I want to go get a charm notch. Because what do I have? Oh, no, we have enough. Okay. Because, yeah, I want to pick up long nail. Extra range is amazing. Let's see, what else do we do? I guess I'll buy the bench pin. Because those are a little bit harder to find, or remember where they are. And then after that, we'll keep saving up for these. Soundtrack is very Halo ODST. It's been a while since I played ODST. I, I would like to again. I just haven't had the time. Uh, I guess let's just head for the Fungal Wastes and then go down. I am, I'm taking the long, kind of grindy way, because I want as much Geo as I can. I want as much Geo as I can get my hands on. Yeah, I actually am kind of curious about that extra masks thing from Resilience. Uh, as if you've got a, any advice on how to get that extra mask, uh, let me know. Because it feels like it should have one extra HP according to that, but if I don't, that's, that's fine. I wasn't really planning on specking into it anyway. I could. I mean, I could try and be like Beef Chunk Man. But that, uh, that, yeah, well, it's fine. I don't even, I don't even, oh! Leveling up actually, uh, we must have hit the point where they actually ticked up their HP because they used to be one-shotting these guys, and now I'm not anymore. Okay, so is Return the to Hollowness the name of the mod? Nah. Nah, the name of the mod that I'm very specifically using for this playthrough is the Bonfire mod. Uh, there's other mods, uh, like Lightbringer and, oh, I don't even remember. Uh, it's, it's not, it has nothing to do with, with the modded playthrough. Uh, or any of the mods, it's just, I haven't played Hollow Knight for a couple of years, and I figured, uh, Return to Hollow Nest would be a, a, a sweet title for things. Let's see, so, basically goes full Dark Souls, right? Kind of, it already had a fair number of, like, slight souls, like, Souls like mechanics, uh, so it works pretty well. But mainly from my experience, it makes it so the enemies scale up in HP actually fairly considerably. It's mildly unfortunate because I don't have the damage to deal with it yet because I haven't been specking into strength. I haven't been specking into much of anything. I guess, honestly, the trick would al almost be to, uh... To not spec into anything for a while and just... Board Geo until I need an upgrade. Let's see... I think there's something over to the left. No, it's like one layer down. I remember where the, where some of the secrets are, especially when they're, like, in particularly notable places, but a lot of them 
I just can't get to them anyway. Uh, let's just go down. I'm trying to remember which ways are worth going. I guess we haven't been this way yet anyway. Oh, this guy, oh. Let's stop that. Oh, I, I stepped on his goo. Don't step on a mad mushroom's goo. It's apparently quite unhealthy for you. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Oh, I must have resisted the hit. Okay, yeah, that's worth it. 20% chance to just like take no damage on a strike is kind of nice. Might, might be a little strong. Oops, that's the wrong direction to go. Yeah, so I might just invest in strength for a while until we have some more spells, or... We'll see. Where does this take us? Oh, it's you! Well, he tried. He was valiant in his attempts. But he was not successful. 